All right, everybody, welcome back. We are going fishing today. This is going to be the maiden voyage of the little 10 foot John boat. Got an ultralight rod and reel, bobber. We got uh, some night crawlers or just red worms. We're going in here, got the stringer. We're going to try to catch up a bunch of bluegill out of this pond here. Um, we're going to see what we can do. I'm not real accustomed to fishing in North Carolina yet. So we're just going to see what we can do. I got a buddy coming. He should be here in like 10 minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and get the boat launched and uh, fish right over here for a minute. But I think we're going to do real good in them trees when we get over there. So, But all right then, stay tuned. We'll see what we can catch. Oh shit, got him. First fish. And it's a fucking chungus. Is there no yeah, I can cut a little bit of it out. <laughs> no way, I thought you were moving still. Alright, got a nice one. One of them little hybrids. Get him on the stringer. All right, guys, it's the next morning. We only caught one yesterday morning. I got out here. I'm by myself today. It's a little bit earlier than it was yesterday morning. Oh, my God. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a big old turkey over there. Big old Tom turkey. Goodness gracious. He's going after a hen right there. Man, there's still two weeks till turkey season, man. Here in North Carolina, at least. Man, I can't wait to get back home to Illinois and start killing, killing turkey, killing deer. All right, we're off topic. We're gonna go ahead and launch this boat and get to fishing. Turkey just got me excited. Um, still, we got worms, we got crickets. I got a cricket already tied on. So the ultralight there. So we're gonna see what we can do today. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Bring it in. Got him already this morning. Straighten out the boat here. Go ahead and get the stringer out because we're still trying to get enough fish for a fish fry. <laughs> All right, guys. First one in the morning. Good long ear, red ear, whatever you want to call it, shell cracker. He's good for the stringer. So we Oh, I missed him, guys. He got my cricket. Oh, shoot. Make a better cast in there that I'm going to paddle. It's kind of, well, no, I like where we're at. So. Got another one. Got him again. Another good one. No, not a good one. I thought he was. All right. Fish number two on the day. This one is not a keeper, so we're going to go ahead and let him go. He got a good majority of my cricket, but I still got some, so I think we're going to keep fishing. Oh, I got another bite already.
if he nibbled that, he might have took what was left of my cricket. No, not quite. Got another one. This one feels better. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, goodness. Got my cricket. Got a bass on the cricket, guys. <laughs> for this pond, the keeper size for a bass is 15 inches. He ain't gonna make it. So back in the water he goes. All right, let's back up here. Oh God, another one. Oh God, dang it. I was paddling the boat. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Oh, didn't keep enough tension on him because I was paddling the boat. I lost him. He got hooked all the way, so I doubt he comes back. Felt like a good one. Got him again. Got him again. It's another bass. Oh, get out from underneath the boat. It's a good bass, too. Another bass this morning on the crickets. Back in the water you go, buddy. Oh, I was paddling the boat and I missed him again. Right there at the right there off the side of the boat. He took it under. Probably another bass to be honest, but Got him. That's a good one, whatever it is. He's under the boat. Oh, that's a good bluegill. Oh. Second keeper, boys. That's a good one. She'll fillet. Got another one. Oh gosh. another keeper bluegill almost not a keeper but this one will do let's try it again four times four times the charm Put it right back where it was. Oh, yep. Got him that time. And he ain't even big enough to do nothing with. After four tries, I finally got this little guy. Back to the water he goes. Got that one though. Whatever he is. He's another keeper bluegill, that's what he is. Come on now, don't spine me. 
You're making things difficult. I just got a spine right in the finger. Come on. There it is. Easy day. And on the stringer he's going, fellas. That's another good keeper. Got him. Oh, please don't come off. Please don't come off. Yeah, I got him. Came off right here in the boat. Come on, man. Quit being difficult. Not a keeper. Back in the water he goes. Again. I don't want to let him choke on it because if it's not a keeper, then I just kill the fish for no reason. Got him that time. Not a keeper. Not quite. Back in the water. I don't know how in the world I missed that fish. He had it all the way under and was running with it. Got him that time though. This is a better one. This is a keeper. All right, got us another keeper. One more keeper for the fish fry. Oh my goodness, he choked it, good one. Be another keeper. Ah. There is no size limit here, so this one technically I could keep it, but I'm gonna go ahead and let him go get some of the bigger bigger ones. Oh man, I'm getting a fish. It's a good one too. Oh, don't break the line. Oh yeah. your mouth dude all right I'm gonna put him right there while I paddle us out of these trees
All right, another good one. Not a monster, but a good one going on the stringer. Let's get him back in there. Come on. Oh, got him. Little baby one. All right, guys. Probably going to be the last fish of the day. I got to get out of here. Make it to an appointment I have. It's the last one of the day. The small one, not a keeper. Back in the water he goes. And now I got to get out of these trees before we get in a real problem. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and paddle back to the truck. I appreciate you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.